Hey guys, Kimber here with Team Elite Physique. We are doing the Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Recipe today. So there's a few different variations you can do with this. Um, I'm gonna be showing you my particular variation, but I did set out a few things that you can use while building your own personal ice cream. First off, I'm gonna pre-make my ice cream for tomorrow, so you'll see my actual variation here, but the one that I have that we are going to blend today, because you do have to make these in advance. So you have to make it 12 to 24 hours before you're going to use it because it has to fully freeze in the container. So this one that Arthur is gonna to get to try tonight is a Chips Ahoy um, from Ghost Protein Powder brand, um, but it's a Chips Ahoy protein powder ice cream. I choose BioHealth Protein. It's a strawberry shortcake and it makes a really good fruity ice cream that I use right now. So I start out with about four and a half, five ounces of water in here. Then I add in just a little bit of Carb Master Milk. Um, you can do it straight milk. I don't do that just for my personal macros right now, but um, you can do straight milk, which is gonna make the flavor better. Um, but you can just do water too, if you can't add any like carbs or extra calories from milk as well. It does taste good with just water. It's not as flavorful, but it, I still like it personally either way. So I start out, I zero my scale. I have my four to five ounces of water in it. And then I pour in for mine, just three ounces. So I allot four ounces of my Carb Master Milk. But here's the thing, and this is a trick I got from Jen Dory whenever she gave me the actual full ice cream recipe that I use now to save a little bit of my milk for the in-between cycles because it helps the consistency get better. So I put in three ounces here and then I save the one ounce for the in-between part. So I have my water, my milk, then I do my protein powder. A little bit more. So there's my protein powder. So since mine is strawberry, I don't have any flavor mix-ins that I'm gonna add in um, to this one because I these are not the best flavor combinations for that. But if I was using this for the chocolate chip um, ice cream, I put like maybe a half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. It's very, very low calorie. Um, maybe a dash of cinnamon, uh, the stevia, Sweet drops, those are good to add some flavor in. And then um, actually I am gonna add just a little bit of vanilla into mine, just for a little bit more flavor. It's just like normal baking vanilla that you would use for like cakes, stuff like that. And then here's the one thing that's going to help your ice cream with consistency is the sugar-free Jello packs. Um, I don't put very much in this. A serving is 10 grams. Um, it's only about seven grams of carbs per serving. And honestly, I only use maybe a fourth a serving. I just sprinkle a little bit in, but it does help with the consistency to make the ice cream a little thicker. So for my strawberry, I'm gonna use the vanilla. So I'll put a little bit of that in. Yeah, that was like three grams, so hardly anything, but it's gonna be enough that it's gonna make the consistency a little thicker whenever I blend it. And that is everything I have to put in it right now. So we're going to blend this up. You don't put ice in this before. It's just the liquid, it's just the powder, and then you freeze it. So I'm gonna go blend this. All right, so I don't blend this for very long. I just blend it up for about eight, 10 seconds. Just enough to mix it up. All right, so we just blended up our mixture and now is the last step for this part. And then of course it would be like the next day that you would be finishing this. But um, this does have a max fill line on these Ninja Creamy containers. You can't go above that because then when you put it in the machine, it, it won't mix right. It actually, I don't know if it'll even start. So I just have never went over that. So make sure you only fill up to that. So the amount I have 
it's almost down to a science. Again, I put it down a little bit lower because I like the consistency to be um, a little denser for the flavor, but you can fill it all the way up. It just might make it a little uh, less popping on the flavor. So that is all you do. Put the lid on and then it goes in the freezer. All right, so we're back 24 hours later and we have our finished product. So here we go. Somehow in the freezer it changed from strawberry to chocolate. All right, so this is what it looks like whenever you take it out of the freezer. The top is kind of like hollow. Um, I don't know why it does that, but uh, totally fine. So we take this and we just put it in our machine now. So here's the lid. You have your blades, put this in, and then we take it to the Ninja. All right, so this is the Ninja Creamy, otherwise known as the best prep hack for any competitor, in my opinion, ever. Especially if you have a sweet tooth, which I do really bad, and this helps me stay on track. It's my like little nightcap, it's a perfect snack, and it's only protein, so it's really low calorie, but it tastes like I'm eating something that I bought from a store, like an ice cream container or something. So. You're gonna put this inside the container and you have to turn it just right to where it like clicks down, otherwise the lid won't go on. And then you put the lid on here, it clicks and locks over, set it with the handle out, and then as you twist up, it locks into place, power on. And so the first setting I pick is the light ice cream setting. And then after that one is done cycling, you'll see us take it off. We will put in that little bit of extra milk that I told you I was saving for um, the in-between and then we'll put it back in and go with the ice cream cycle and then we will be done and show you the finished product. One downside of this machine, it is so loud, like so loud. Um, so if you have a different room, like far away from where anyone else is in your house, I recommend putting it in there because you won't want to stand and listen to this. So here we go. Light ice cream spin starting now. All right, so we've done our first spin. This is the light ice cream spin. So this is what it looks like in between. So sometimes you have to kind of gauge it as to how like how creamy it already looks so sometimes when you take this off it looks a little powdery and in that case i'd pour a little bit more milk in it but honestly this one already looks pretty creamy consistency so i'm probably only going to put about a half ounce of milk in it because um, otherwise it'll come out and it won't be so much like soft serve it'll be a little bit more like liquidy like i said probably like half ounce 0.6 then you put it back on, same way, lock it in. And then the next one we're gonna push is the ice cream one. Um, if you do the light ice cream one twice, I found that it just, again, makes it like not as thick. It makes it too much like liquid consistency. So I personally do this one for the second round and then we will wait and see what this one looks like. All right, so that was our final spin. So same thing, push this button, unlocks it. Sometimes it gets a little stuck. And then this part I take with me. This part I leave here, you don't need to wash. This part you do. So put that back on here, turn it off. And this is the consistency of what it looks like. Pretty good. You'll be able to tell a little bit more whenever we put a spoon in it, pull it out, and you'll see that it actually looks like soft serve ice cream. So. Let's go finish. All right, so we are almost finished. This is a fun part. So if you're in prep and you have to be a little bit more strict, then essentially this is your finished product, which is still really good. It's awesome. Um, you can tell if you put the spoon in and pull it out, like the consistency is really, literally like something you get out of a machine at a restaurant or soft serve ice cream from somewhere. But if you, are in your off season or improvement season, you can make it a little bit more fun 
but still healthy at the same time. You can use rice cakes. I love to use these for a little bit of crunch on top. Right here we have half a rice cake worth of uh, crunchy extra here. And then Lily's has all kinds of flavors of sugar-free chocolate chips that you can use. Um, this is probably about like a half a serving of chocolate chips in here, which is not too high in your calorie count. Out of this whole thing without the rice cakes, but with the ice cream and the milk in it, it's about 160 calories. It's only about six grams of carbs, one gram of fat, and 32 grams of protein. So this is gonna vary a little bit. So I use my fitness pal to enter mine in each time, but it depends on the type of protein powder you use. You might have a little bit less fat in yours or a little bit more carbs or a little bit more protein. Um, it can vary with your protein powders or if you use almond milk versus carb master or just water. So it can vary a little bit, but essentially this is a 200 calorie and under snack, even if you put some of the toppings on top of it. So this is a really good snack to stay on track in prep, in your improvement season, still have a nice treat, but make it fun at the same time. So here is our crunchy on top and then put your chocolate chips on. And I always like to top with a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip. Not much, but just a little, makes it fun. And there you go. Here is your 200 calorie or under Ninja Creamy ice cream recipe.